Meanwhile, wife of Lagos State Governor Dr. Ibijo Kesongolu and chairperson of Kaoslo has led members on a pre-conference walk through the historic streets of Badagri as part of activities lined up to herald the forthcoming National Women's Conference. Plus TV correspondent Love Oyedeku, who captured the moments in our reports. The First Lady and her team arrived in Badagri at exactly 10 a.m., to arouse and welcome by the people at the historic first story building built in 1945. <laughs> the pre conference walk took off proper by 10 45 a.m. <laughs> Dressed in comfortable pink polo shirts, the women, led by Dr. Ibijuke Sowunlu, visited Bracketed Night Market and Agia Tree, where the Christmas was first celebrated in Nigeria. We are a community that has continually risen above challenges, leveraging our unique strength to foster unity, development, and progress. Your advocacy and sensitization efforts are not just timely but crucial in guiding us towards a future where every member of our community can truly soar beyond boundaries. Breaking free from the constraints of the past and embracing the new opportunities for growth and enrichment. The work also took them to the Mobi Royal Family Regional Slave Trade Relics, first museum in Nigeria, opened in 1889. From here, they walked to Badagri Heritage Museum, serving as an educational journey through Nigeria's history and its pivotal role as a port for slave trade. The walk through the historic town is seen as a good way for members of Kausu to immerse themselves in the local culture before the takeoff of the conference. Dr. Ibijuke Sowunlu spoke on the choice of Badagri. It's an opportunity to create awareness for quite a number of Lagosians that live in Lagos but don't even really understand and explore the beauty of Lagos and the potential inside Lagos. So coming to Badagri is an eye-opener for us. We have been warmly welcomed. The hospitality is very enriching. The history going into the museums there makes us remember the pains that our forefathers have gone through. And it's very, very real. You need to come here and experience it. And not only that, the farmland, the breeze, the air, it's lovely. She also highlighted the impact the National Women Conference has had in the lives of women. It has to do with knowledge empowerment for women. And we have women from all structures of life. We have women from different states coming together, converging, networking, learning together, and lifting other women up encouraging women, not limiting ourselves, ensuring that women are accountable, women can move the boundaries of their limitations, women can improve Nigeria as a whole. We are wives of Lagos State officials. We know that our husbands are working tirelessly to ensure that we have a greater Lagos. And so the, way, the women there are not just, like I keep on saying, fine face, no brain. But beauty and brains go together, and that is what it's all about. This pre conference walk in Badagri may have set an inspiring tone for the upcoming conference, which is themed Soaring Beyond Boundaries, Enriching Communities. Love Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.